The easiest way to check the PCIe speed of a connected device like your graphics card or your NVMe SSDs is to use a very popular and a free utility called Hardware Info or HW Info. Knowing the PCIe speed of the connected devices is important to understand whether they are performing at their maximum capacity or not. A lower PCIe speed of a device either means you have connected the device into a wrong slot or you have mismatched the device and the motherboard's PCIe version. But before we use this utility to figure out the PCIe speed of the connected devices, it is important to get a brief glimpse into the PCIe interface and what the PCIe speeds entail. The PCIe speed of a graphics card or an SSD relates to the number of PCIe lanes they are connected to and what the speed of each lane is. A PCIe lane is a pipeline or a highway of data that carries information to and from a device like your graphics card or an SSD and the CPU. The speed of each lane varies depending upon the version it belongs to, so much so that with every generation the per lane PCIe speed doubles. This is best explained using one particular table on Wikipedia that shows the lane speeds of different PCIe versions. In this table, you can see the different versions and their corresponding PCIe lane speeds. So PCIe 3.0 has a per lane speed of 8 giga transfers per second, which roughly translates to 0.985 gigabytes per second of information, as can be seen in the X1 column. And since PCIe interface scales as the number of lanes increase, you can see here that an X4 slot with 4 PCIe lanes conforming to version 3.0 would have 3.938 gigabytes per second speed, which is 4 times as much as the X1 speeds of the same version. You can also see how the per lane speed doubles with the newer PCIe 4.0 generation. PCIe 4.0 has a per lane transfer rate of 16 giga transfers per second which translates to about 1.969 gigabytes per second for x1 or for one lane 7.877 gigabyte per second for four lanes all the way to 31.508 gigabyte per second for 16 lane now this bit of information is very important to note a gpu or a graphics card uses 16 pci lanes ideally but it can also work with 8 PCI lanes with a marginal, almost a negligible drop in performance. This particular study by GamerNexus shows how much of an impact X8 or X16 lanes have on a graphics card, which is almost none if you go through the study. SSDs, on the other hand, require 4 PCI lanes ideally, and in majority of the cases, the M.2 slots that they go into physically offer 4 lanes. But in some cases, the M.2 slot on the motherboard may only offer two PCIe lanes. Take the ASUS ROG Strix X470F motherboard for instance. I have the spec sheet for this motherboard open and if I head over to its storage section, I can see here that one of the two M.2 slots that support NVMe SSDs only work at X2 mode, meaning it only connects to two PCIe lanes. In this case, the SSD's performance will scale down drastically to almost half its performance if you were to install your NVMe SSD in this slot. In addition to that, the PCIe slot version also matters when installing a graphics card or an SSD. When you install a PCIe Gen 4 graphics card into a PCIe 3.0 slot, you will see a very marginal performance difference. Puget Systems has actually done a very comprehensive study on how much of an impact this has on the graphics card. Uh, you can read through the entire study here, but the conclusion here is that the difference, is, the difference in performance is only marginal. However, if you were to insert a Gen 4 SSD like the Samsung 980 Pro into a PCI 3.0 M.2 slot on your motherboard, then unlike the GPU, the SSD's speed will reduce by as much as half its maximum speed. So with that brief look into the PCI interface out of the way, it'll be easy for you to identify and understand the PCI speed of your connected devices using HW Info utility. For starters, download and install this utility from the official website. I have included the link to this utility in the description below. Once installed, run the utility. If you get a prompt such as this one, leave the checkboxes on the side unselected and press the start button. With the utility open, we are only interested in the far right columns where it tells you the details regarding your GPU at the top and hard drives at the bottom. So let us look at the GPU first. Firstly note that if you have two GPUs installed 
or if you have an integrated and a dedicated GPU install, then you can switch between them using this drop down menu. I have two GPUs on my laptop. I'm interested in knowing the PCI speed of my dedicated graphics card, so I will select GPU 1 from the drop down menu, which takes me to my NVIDIA RTX 3070 graphics card. So, for this particular graphics card, this field over here now clearly tells me that this graphics graphics card is connected to x16 lanes or 16 lanes belonging to pcie 4.0 hence in terms of pcie speed the gpu checks out just fine now to figure out the pcie speed of the nvme ssd drives connected to my pc i can head over to the drive section below this section tells me that i have two nvme ssds connected they are connected to four lanes as identified by 4x and as it should be again nvme ssds should connect to four lanes ideally now it does not tell me outright the pcie generation of the ssds or the version of the pci lanes the ssds connect to it just tells me 8.0 giga transfer per second recall from the table we saw earlier that 8 giga transfers per second corresponds to the per lane speed of PCIe 3.0 generation. Hence, I can conclude that both of these drives are either PCIe 3.0 themselves or they are connected to a PCIe 3.0 M.2 slot. In either case, they are working at the speeds of PCIe 3.0 per lane speed. So that concludes my short explainer video on how to check PCIe speed of a device. If this video helped you in any manner, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe.